So the last time we did a review on this channel was quite a while ago now and I was planning to hopefully do a review sometime soon. However, the problem is, is soon after January, soon after I received my first ever gimbal for Christmas, lockdown happened and essentially we went into another uh, two or three months of just not being able to get out, not being able to create videos, not being able to do anything. However, I can tell you that this April we are going outdoors for our channel. We're doing some really kind of crazy, wacky stuff. Uh, the amount of times I've been saying it uh, in front of the camera has been crazy. But this is probably the first time I'm telling you that uh, April's gonna, definitely going to be mad. It's definitely going to be mad. But that has meant that I've had a chance to use this gimbal, so it means that I can actually do a review on it. So this is the Hohem iSteady gimbal. Uh, it, or oh, iSteady X to be exact. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest, apart from it's made by Hohem. It costs about 70 quid, so it's definitely on one of the cheaper uh, gimbals. However, it's definitely brilliant for a starter and I would recommend it if you did want to get into, into video and certainly into vlogging because it makes your sort of shots so much, much more stable. There's definitely a lot more features in it. So if you have an Android or an Apple phone, you'll find that if you install their app, you can connect it via Bluetooth and it does mean that you get a lot more features such as being able to control uh, when you record, uh, taking pictures and zooming in uh, on that. And we'll come to that very, very soon and other features as well. But first, what I noticed was that in the last video, uh, only one person wasn't subscribed. So you know what to do, that person who sat behind the screen uh, and who wasn't subscribed to the last one. Yeah, you know what you gotta do. That was a complete lie, by the way. Um, yeah, about 50% of you aren't subscribed, but I just wanted to get you to subscribe anyway. So, I mean, win-win. So now everything is out of the box. We've actually laid it all down and as you can see here, we've got a USB-C cable. We've got uh, one of these things that go onto your hand to make sure that your gimbal doesn't fall. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, you've got a little tripod. This is extremely, extremely useful. And you've got a small little case to essentially put your gimbal in. And obviously, you've got the gimbal itself. Now, the one thing I would say about the tripod is it's extremely, extremely useful because obviously you can mount the gimbal on top as you can see, what you've got there is you've got an extension, but at the same time, uh, the connection to this small little tripod is the same as the connection to the big tripod I've currently got in a lot of tripods. It's essentially the universal screw for tripods. So that's extremely, extremely useful because obviously I can mount my phone on a tripod now uh, without it being really, really bad. Now, what, what you do have to remember, obviously, with the gimbal is that it's obviously electronically powered, so it is powered through the USB-C cable. This is not a USB-C cable. I have picked the wrong cable uh, when I was putting it together. How brilliant is that? Yeah, just imagine that this is a USB-C cable. But, yes, it does charge on a USB-C cable, which does mean it's relatively fast on charge. However, the battery life is really, really good, I can tell you that right now, uh, from previous uses. So we're going to go and grab my phone right now. The one downside I would say of a gimbal is that you have to take the case off. So as you can see right now, the case is now off of my phone and it's not very easy to put it on and off. So you can't easily switch between uh, put the phone in the gimbal and take the phone out. So I'm going to put the phone in now and as you can see, it takes, it doesn't, doesn't take that long. However, it certainly is a little bit fidget, uh, fid what, what, what's the word? It's, fidgety it's a little more fidgety when you are uh, maybe out vlogging or something like that you can't just put it on like a magnet now you can see there it's all there and i've left the motors motors all free so you can actually lock all the motors so as you can see here that clicks so no longer that's no longer moving and likewise here i can uh, lock all the motors and that's just basically so i can um, keep it stored nice and safely and it's not going to be waving about so much so I'm now actually going to free up these motors so that I can now turn on the gimbal and it won't give out to me if I do that obviously. If I do have the motors locked in it'll start giving out to me. So as you can see straight away it's, it's very very stable. So I'm now pointing it at my camera. <laughs> okay so it's camera to camera now uh, and as you can see it's extremely stable and all I have to do is move, move the little uh, pad left and right and up and down and it'll do it'll respond just like that and it'll keep every all nice and stable so as you can see now i'm i'm moving it left and right and as you can see it's trying to kind of counteract that 
if I move it like that and I move it up and down, as you can see, it keeps it all very, very nice and slick. Now my little light on here has just gone green. So that means that we've now got Bluetooth connected to it. So I'm going to, uh, using the left panel, I can now zoom in and I can also zoom out. I can also stop recording and start recording as well as also uh, changing it to portrait, although that did not require Bluetooth at all. So I'm now gonna click on stop recording. And as you can see, it's just stop recording. Well, you can't see that, but I can. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to open up the app with there's a Hohem app that comes with it. So it's called Hohem Pro. And as you can see there, uh, what it does is it connects to uh, to your gimbal and all you have to do is click on start recording. Now there's all sorts of different features on this which basically means uh, that it's better. Uh, what I was doing I was just recording off my normal camera. So now it's time to test a few features which only come with the app. So if you're on Android or Apple, like I said earlier, yeah, when you install the app and connect it via Bluetooth, which is connected automatically. And the, be the beautiful thing is, is my smart band is also connected by Bluetooth because it uses a different frequency. So it's not actually going to affect my band or anything like that. So it's all, all very, very nice and slick. And I'm just going to go to face tracking. And as you can see now, if I've started recording and as you can see, as I move my face, as I move my face, it, it follows my face. So this is really, really good when you're, let's say, at a home setup and as you can see there, the gimbal is struggling to follow me because there is a small limitation there. But as I walk across, this is a low, <laughs> there's, there's a very, very low roof up here. But as you can see, uh, the gimbal makes a very, very good attempt at trying to uh, follow my face. Now, obviously, if I sit down on a chair, uh, it's a lot, lot better. It also does object tracking, but it's not as good, I would say. Um, because it doesn't recognise uh, an object as well as a face, but obviously, you, but obviously you draw on the phone what object you want to track, and usually it's quite quite good. But you can't move it as fast as let's say my face here, which I can just move around, and the gimbal will 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 track, and the phone will tell the gimbal where I am and where I need to move. So there's a there's a few small bits that I have found that aren't so amazing. Now obviously remember we've got a, this is a, a very very cheap gimbal. This is seventy quid. It doesn't, doesn't cost so much and, and because of obviously that there are some cheaper things such as the motors as you can see here the motors aren't so quick and responsive sometimes I do especially when I'm having to walk I have to give it a little nudge just to help it to move uh, move around uh, a little bit which it isn't so desirable for when you're moving around quite a lot and you want a gimbal to be extremely extremely responsive However, what I would say is it's extremely compact. It's a very, very small for its size. I know there's a lot of gimbals that are much more, more professional, are a lot, lot bigger. So for someone who's a starter like myself, who, do, who, who doesn't really do so much, I'm someone who only does it for a bit of fun. So this gimbal is pretty much perfect for me. And I would really, really recommend it if you're just wanting to start with something and you've got a decent phone, which has a decent camera, and you know that you can get the app, because obviously the app has uh, extremely, extremely good features. And it does mean that uh, you can set up Bluetooth on it, which, uh, like I said, will give you that control of starting and stopping recording without having to touch the screen or anything like that. So that's all I've got for this week. Like I said, next week is going to be Starting with a few bangers, hopefully um, the channel will start growing again. We'll 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 get on with uh, good videos. I've got several plans, and we're, we're we're good to go. I'll hopefully see you next week. Make sure you've subscribed, and goodbye. This is one of the best outros ever.